Hello everyone. I think I'm live. Hi everyone. Good day. Good afternoon. Good. Um, I'm excited about today. Good day. Please let's reach out to our friends. Let's reach out to our colleagues. Um, I'm very sure today is going to be very amazing. Um, the last edition of our IG Live section, we had we had to talk about um, the increasing car theft cases in Nigeria, and we're, we're trying to find a way forward. And I'm sure, and we had um, the head of sales for Concept Nova come talk to us, and it was very exciting. It was very exciting. If for any reason you um, didn't join that section, please, the recordings is still on our profile. So it's on our timeline. Please go and um, get all of the juice that was shared, all of the insights that was shared in that section. Welcome, everyone. I'm seeing a lot of us joining. Good afternoon. Um, number one African queen, I see you. Good afternoon. Please reach out to your friends, reach out to your colleagues, reach out to your loved ones. Let them know we have started. Um, I'm very sure that today is going to be very amazing, very amazing. Please let's reach out to everyone so we can start immediately. So today we're going to be talking about better practices to avoid expensive damages on our vehicles. We know that um, over time, we know that um, the lifespan of a vehicle does not just depend on its quality, it also, also depends on how we manage it, how we handle it. If you buy the most, um, the best gadget ever and you decide to pour water on it or you're very careless with handling it, you do not expect that it's going to last very long. So today we're going to be looking at better practices. We know that we are in, we are entering the festive seasons and long road trips will be the order of the day. So what should you do to ensure that um, probably as a car owner, your car does not stop halfway into the journey? What do you do as someone who is boarding a vehicle and you notice some kind of signs and you say, oh no, driver, check this because I do not want to stop halfway in the journey. So please, today is going to be very, very exciting. And I have an amazing person who's going to join us today. So, um, guests who is going to join us shortly. Our guest is here. Welcome everyone, I see you. Please reach out to your, share this with your friends, share this with your colleagues. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Good afternoon. Wow. Wow, nice. Okay, thank you so much. It's really an honor to have you join us. Like, yeah, thanks. So short much. notice and all, all of that. Thank you so much. It's a privilege you, to have you join us here today. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, all right, thank you so much um, for having me. And um, I really okay, okay. So, it's real opportunity. Okay, so briefly, um, with me here today, I have Jimmy Falade. Jimmy Falade has over 10 years experience in heat and logistics management. He is also a member of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transportation. And currently, he's the dispatch manager for Kiosk Digital Service. So um, please, let's sh show some emojis for <laughs> Mr. Thank Jimmy. You. I'm excited to, to, to have you live with me today. Okay, so let's jump right into the conversation already. So, um, like we said, the topic for today is better practices to avoid expensive um, damages on your vehicle. So, so the first question I would want to ask you is, from your point of view, from your experience, from okay. from your perspective, what do you consider? What do you what what is good thing maintenance on a car? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So routine maintenance basically is um, the maintenance activities you carry on your assets. And um, that's what you do regularly on your assets that you carry out. Can you hear me? Am I okay? okay? Uh, me? Um, I'm not sure. So probably, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Continue, continue. Oh, okay. 
So, like I said, I said it's the maintenance activities you carry out on your vehicle regularly. And um, okay. the task can actually be, um, it can be yearly, it can be daily, it can be weekly, it can be monthly, or it all depends. And um, the basic aim for uh, routine maintenance, you know, like you said, it's, um, it's for us to avoid um, vehicle breakdown. You know, it's for us okay. to avoid the vehicle breakdown. So it actually prevents you from uh, being stranded on the road when you're in transit. Mm -hmm. And we have different types of um, routine maintenance. You can actually calendar-based routine maintenance you know we can also say maybe use it based maintenance when you talk about calendar based mm -hmm. you're talking about time based routine maintenance looking yeah. at the time you're meant to maintain that vehicle and when you could have usage based maybe you're traveling maybe you you, you you traveled for a longer distance and while you're back you said you're taking your vehicle on the road you want to service that vehicle before engaging or before embarking on that journey you know that's what uh, that is about um about the uh usage based maintenance so that's what routine maintenance simply oh, means. Okay, okay, okay. That's exciting. I hope we got that usage based maintenance and all of that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um so basically, okay, so next question. So how does uh, how often does the car need maintenance? I know a lot a lot of persons would say, oh, weekly, daily, monthly, probably I'll just call it mechanic to check it every two months, every three months. Okay. So what for you, what do you recommend? What works for okay, you? So, so um so for me, it depends yeah. on how you use your vehicle. Okay. It depends on the user vehicle. So what am I saying okay. this? So I'm going to use my Uber brothers as an example. My okay. Uber brothers, you know, your vehicle is spending about seven, eight hours in transit on the road. No stop, nothing. I can't advise you to do three months um, servicing. I would rather tell you okay. it should be monthly. You know, monthly. Okay. Then why you check your brake pads maybe every two months and um but the, the point at which you are going to service, check every check every necessary things on your vehicle. Look, look at the um, suspension of your vehicle because the the vehicle is actually moving every time. The vehicle yeah. is moving, is always engaged. Now, you can't compare that to someone whose vehicle is always at home, but maybe mm -hmm. once in a while. So someone like me, I don't take my vehicle out every time because I do an every kind of work. So someone like, so, so maybe I take my car to the, to the office, it's parked and... Um, at the end of the day, I'm taking it back home. I can't do every month, man. It's not advising yeah. for me today. I can't do every three months. I can't do every four months, you know, because I don't use it periodically. So it depends on the usage. But if you're using it every time, for my commercial brothers, I will tell you okay. monthly, then check the necessary things like brake pads. Brake pads ideally should last longer. But, you know, this is this is Nigeria. We have, yeah. we have a lot of counterfeit products. We have a lot of fake spare parts. So I can't actually tell you to... Uh, to put your brake pads down and check it in after four months, five months, no. So it's risky. So that's that's just what I would simply say about um, how often can maintain your vehicles, depending on okay. the usage. Okay, so very important. It, the more you use your vehicle, the more exactly. maintenance. Exactly. The more you exactly. use the more. So because, you know, oftentimes, we, you see a lot of persons, it almost seems like if you would think that the village person, people are following them because... <laughs> <laughs> Especially this season, we are in a stressful season. Like I said in the introduction, exactly. long road trips is the order of the day. So, sure. and it's something that's very important that we need to know. So, so our audience there, the more you use your vehicle, the more you should maintain okay. it. So, the next question is, what kind of maintenance would you advise? What okay, kind so, of maintenance so would you suggest? Is that a, is that a preventive or reactive? Okay. Even routine maintenance is preventive. You know, preventive yes. maintenance or reactive maintenance. But basically, preventive is 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 the best I recommend for people to people rather. Okay. And why am I saying this? It's um, actually so. Let me just give a background story. One thing I noticed about Nigerians is that we are quick to buy vehicles. You know, okay. we like we like exotic cars. We desire exotic cars. Um, exotic cars. <clears throat> sorry, but. The maintenance culture, we hardly maintain our vehicles. Most people, yes. or let me say some people, let me not say most. And I saw an article, like, or let me say, I saw a video recently, rather. And I saw a video that was, that um, someone went to um, a mechanic shop, saw a lot of bins, exactly bins, packed. They were all grounded because they were not maintained. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the things I tell people is preventive maintenance is the key, is the best. Yeah. Now, why am I talking about preventive maintenance? It makes your car to to last longer you know yeah. make your car to last longer another thing is it also helps you to save cost now for example you're embarking on a journey and um you know this is lagos and on your way yeah. out you, um, your vehicle just broke down and all of a sudden you see you see even 
I don't know where you stay, but you know, in Lagos, Nigeria, you just see if you have boys from north, west, south, is will just stay. <laughs> and you know, when you just come, they just tell you, ah, give me money. Without money, I can't, can't take your bag. Money for wood. Money for bathroom. Yep, yeah, exactly. Money for <laughs> And most times, and most times, you see that maybe what is even affecting your vehicle is maybe, maybe, maybe um, something of 10,000, which you have actually prevented. But because yeah. you just felt, I can move from here to that side. It should be just for me to go and come. And all of a mm -hmm. sudden, 10,000, you pay money for a road, you pay towing van. If you're lucky enough that your, your mechanic is going to answer you on time, you also pay for his transport fare to come. You now, <laughs> you now go and do what is actually affecting the vehicle. So when you add yeah. everything together, you see that you're actually spending more. You're actually spending yeah. more to repair. Then another thing is also saves your life. You know, yes. you know it, yes. it saves you. Because why am I saying this? But God forbid um, a vehicle breaking down at um, a, a volatile um, area whereby they yes. can actually kill, they can actually arm you, you know. So the truth is, preventive maintenance saves a lot, um, a lot rather, saves a lot. And it can actually save you from a lot of things, from a lot of embarrassment, harassment. Imagine you're going for an interview and you're on your, and your way going, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden you have a, a, a car issue, you know. It can actually yeah. delay you, it can actually make you um, um can actually spoil your day let me put it that we can actually spoil your day because one you start sweating so you start <laughs> running out of skelter you start looking for who can help you you start looking for friends i can actually come are you passing my way to help you know so preventive yes, maintenance actually help and actually saves a lot so that's the so best. so we have the so you mentioned two type of maintenance preventive yes, and what active yes so, reactive, okay, so when, you, when you are so reactive is after the after the thing happens, after um, 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 the issue happens on your vehicle, you start looking for yeah, how, to, how to how to how to um, uh, repair the vehicle. And at that yes. time, it might actually be it might actually be it's going to be it's, you know at that time you will be agitated and any amount they call it you want to pay. exactly you know you exactly. want to pay because 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 at that you have no choice than to just repair. But these yeah. are things that can actually prevent you know. Yes. So very insightful. So we had it. We have reactive maintenance. We have preventive. Nigerians would always wait for things to get bad before they react, before they respond sure, to it. So sure. please. And most importantly, I, I feel like 90, in fact, more than 90% of accidents are caused because some of all these things are not looked at. Some of all these things, oh, I will do it later. I will do it tomorrow. Please, your life is very important. You hear field break, one trailer field break, before you know it, there are casualties everywhere. So it's very important for your life, for the life of small stranger out, stranger out there, for, to avoid embarrassment, to avoid extortion. And you know in Nigeria, everybody's try, trying to ensure that they're not wasting their money everywhere. So it's very important that we, instead of reactive maintenance, we go for preventive. Thank you, Jimmy, for that. So the next question is, what would you consider the most important vehicle maintenance item that every car owner should, should own? Mm, mm, what mm. do you think the items, oh, equipment that, that every car owner should so, okay. Uh, so, okay, continue. Let me see. Okay, so sorry, a call, Kevin. Uh, okay, so, so for me, um, it's necessary for us to have number one toolkit. You know what I mean? Toolkit, okay. looking at. Uh, at least if you're driving, you should have spanner, you should have pliers, you should have screwdriver, you know, that can actually help you when you have um, some, so it's not every time you run to the mechanic, there's some things you should be able to handle yourself, you know. The yes. other thing is um, looking at, you should be able to have uh, brake oil, you know, in your vehicle, power steering oil, you should be able to have uh, even battery cables. You know, okay. You don't want any battery cables because at times it might actually be moving and or maybe you can, you can get to an event, an event rather, you can get to an event and your car is not starting. You know, someone might want to help you. The person might not True. have battery cables and you might just okay, yeah. you might have just assist me. You know, so jack, spare tires, fire extinguisher, you should have it. You know, in case of yes. electrical issue, you know, that can actually yeah. help you. You know, those are the things I think you should have. So everything is important to have. Not, I won't say one is most important, you know. Okay. To have, okay. so, so it's very important. And also, it just crossed my mind. I just feel like there are some basic techniques that someone should know. It's not yeah. that something is very simple that will just take you probably just to look at this and say, oh, this is the problem. 
you just have to now call your mechanic for every time. And mechanic, you pay for the CPI, you pay for his time now, definitely. So it's very important that we that we know this. So um, next question is, what are some t- tips? Some tips to avoid some of all these vehicle damages. Some tips, quick tips that we need to know. Okay. So for me, uh, um, one of the things I will tell people is, before you move out, try yeah. and inspect your car. Okay. Before moving out, don't assume that I parked this car yesterday and uh, my car is uh, fit <laughs> to go on the road. Is roadworthy? No, don't assume. Can just yeah. take it two minutes. Just check. Just be. Just be. Just. Just be conscious about that. So, for for example, before you move out in the morning, check your water level. Check your engine oil. You know. Check whether your batteries and your battery, your car battery is well tightened. You know, check that. You can even check your your tire, whether your tire is well gauged before you move. You know, another thing I also want to tell people is, um, I always tell people is check your lights. So most times people don't check the, the brake lights of their vehicles. So that can also cause an accident on the road. That can actually cause a major issue on the road. For example, yesterday I was I was I was I was inside the vehicle and the vehicle ahead of us, the brake light was not coming on at all. And unknowingly to us, a vehicle just crossed that guy. Yeah. The guy just uh, matched his brake. If not the if not the driver that was uh, carrying me was even that driver that was carrying me was was quite experienced. So, so like you know what yeah. happened. So you need to check your light, check your traffic meter because all those things can actually cause an accident. Can, can actually cause uh, um, um, expensive damage on your vehicle as well too. Mm-hmm. So that's number one. Number two, I also tell people to be vigilant. Be vigilant, you know. For example, check your dash. So when you see a light coming up, coming on on your on your on your dashboard, check. You know what it is, you know. You yeah. can check and also you know. Don't just say, oh, this like NG check. There's NG check sign. I will manage this. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know to what extent that you think can actually cause damage on your vehicle. You know. Check. At yeah. times when I drive, I turn off the uh my my car radio. You know, I turn off just to try and listen to whatever is making noise. You know. Your brake pads, you know, your, it might be it might be on motion and your brake is making noise. You know, try to check whatever is happening. So another thing I would say, just be vigilant. Take up sounds of any sound from your vehicle. That can actually help you to avoid um, expensive damages on your vehicle. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Like, <laughs> I currently I do not own a car, but just from everything you've said, I just feel like, oh, I can, if I'm in, I'm in, probably I, I booked a ride. There's a certain sound that we hear, and I will know that oh, yes, this is this is something is wrong somewhere. So it's very important that we're vigilant. Check everything. Exactly. Check check everything. Check your brake pad. Everything. <laughs> check your brake pad. It's not village people that are doing you. It's not. <laughs> it is not enemies from your village. It's just because you refuse to do what you need to do, to do at the right time. So the last question um, that I'm going to ask is um, what tech solutions. Uh, can individuals, organizations um, um, have? What technical solution, tech solution, can we um, get to prevent expensive damages on our vehicle, especially when it comes to third party drivers? Probably I have cars, I have uh, um, trucks that other people are driving. How do I ensure that, oh, it's in good hands? How do I ensure that, oh, they do not want to rip? How do I ensure that? I'm not spending so much on, on repairs. Okay, so there are different tech yeah. solutions. Yeah, different yeah, tech yeah. solutions. So for example, if you are driving truck, they are using we have a truck owner. One of the things I tell people or uh, tell truck owners is have uh, this uh, cabin camcorder. Okay. Now th- that can actually help you to record everything going on within that truck, you know can check the uh, speed limit, can actually record speed limit, can actually even record the driver's behavior. Yeah, you know, can actually record drivers behavior. Can so you'll be able to tell what is going on. That's on one hand. Another thing is, um, I can also tell you have speed limiter. Okay. As a tech comp, as a as an organization, have speed limiter that can actually cover um, drivers speeding on the road. You know, the speed of a driver, the speed of the vehicle. You know, can actually cover that. Also, um, um, every organization, yeah, especially when you're having a uh, fleet, uh, fleet of vehicles. You can also okay. have a um, car scanner. Okay. You know, car scanner, that can actually help you to also deduce problems, you know. Uh, another thing um, I'm also looking at is a um, car tracker can help you too. Yeah. You know, having <laughs> a car tracker can also help you, you know. 
that can actually help you in terms of um, theft, you know, you know, you know, so that they won't take away your car and other things. So those are the things. Even now, people are talking about. Uh, um, there's, a, there's also a device that actually monitors floor level. You know, okay. You your floor, yeah. yeah. So it can also have that as well, as an organization. So those are the basic things. I know the are more, Okay. Okay. okay, thank you so much. And the, the amazing thing is, most of all the solutions you mentioned, it's what we do at Concept Nova. So, oh, at, really? so at Concept Nova, we have our Pro Drive, and Pro Drive is an in vehicle monitoring system. It monitors the behavior of your driver. In fact, you're able to save 15% on maintenance. And you increase your li your vehicle's um, life with Lifespan. at least three three years and more with our project solution. You mentioned the fuel control system. We have that too. It's so it dictates our fuel control system dictates where there is leakage, and it also enables that oh mm -hmm. that you're not you know what some of all these stations they do not give you up to what you you request. Probably you want to buy one liter from their gauge. They will say they're giving you one liter, but Probably it cuts. <laughs> so with our fuel control system, we are able to detect that. We also have our, our seat protect. Seat protect helps with is a transparent shutter proof for your um, side mirror, for your for every glass thing on your vehicle. And we also have the Ticon car tracker. So it's very important. We are in 2022. You should not rely on your your sense. <laughs> because sure, no matter how sure. much you want to listen to sound, no matter how much you want to check some of all these things, we we can enable use we can use tech solution. It just makes it easier. So sure. I do not so there are times when something is leaking, you do not know. You would not know. But with this tech solution, it just makes everything easier. So um I think we've come to the end of this section. Thank you so much, me. I sure, you said so much so many things now. In fact, I think I'm gonna go and buy my car tomorrow. <laughs> I'll go and get my <laughs> so I can now start checking all of all these things you mentioned. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who has joined. Thanks yeah, so for you so thank you so much. Um, yeah. Well done, Concept Nova. Nice. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a great day. Have a great day. Yes, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Okay. Okay, okay. So um I'm still here. So today we're supposed to announce the winners for our uh, Novad Crizard. So we do a monthly giveaway and for the last one month, we have winners. So, um, so for after the first question, so this this um, you usually have four winners, but this month we had three. So, but for next month we're going to definitely have four winners. So, and it's, it's very amazing because there was this week where, in fact, there was this person who won two weeks consecutively, but it, you cannot win two times definitely. So, um, for the first week, the question was that what kind of cell are found in the brain and the answer to the question is neuron and the winner for that week is four four nate four underscore four underscore nate so you're the winner for that so i'll be in your dm to for your for your prize so the next question says google chrome Safari, firefox and explorer are different types of words and the answer is web browser everybody knows that but the winner and let me sorry let me come for you to be a winner, you, you just don't have to have the correct answer. You will have the, have the correct answer, and also your your answer has to have the highest engagement, the highest like. So that's what. So you need to tag your friends, tag your loved ones to come and like and engage with your question. So for that second week, the the winner for that week is. Um, one African queen at one African queen. You're the winner. I'll be in your DM. And for the last week, we have the question says, What's the shortcut for copy function on most computer? And the, the answer is control C. And the winner for that day for the third week is Asama One. So I'll be in your DMs. Thank you so much for engaging. We are waiting, expecting you to join our giveaways for the next one month. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining this live section. I am sure it's very insightful for you. So as we are entering the festive season, as you're going to be boarding that bus to travel on that long trip, please look out for these things to ensure that you are not stranded, to ensure that your vehicle is not stopping halfway. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Cheers.